run away now. Alby isn't going to hurt you. <laughs> You're real pretty. Alby. Why, well, hello there, little Joe. Well, leave her alone, Alby. You're scaring her. Now, what are you doing up here on the mountain? It's on my way to Placerville. Come on, Albie, you're hurting her. Oh, I'm the only friend she's got up here, ain't I, Annie? At least why she don't give me no back talk like the other women. She's not an animal in one of your traps. Now let her go. I ain't hurting her. I just saying hello. Oh, you better not hurt her. Not ever. You don't belong up here. This ain't your country. Best you mind your own business. You bother Annie, I'll make it my business. This is my country, and I'm going to see it stays that way. Stop working so much, Sam. You got company. Huh. Sorry, little Joe. I got a touch of fever. Figured this might sweat it out of me. Uh, feeling any better? Hey, I brought you that gun barrel Pa said you needed. And I got a little present for Annie. Waste of time bringing her anything. Just leave her be. Hey, Sam, look. Just pretend that she's a tree. Foolishness. Can't hear, can't talk, don't understand no more than them dumb beasts she tends. No use bringing her presents, little Joe. Uh, come on, Sam. Anybody understands getting a present. Suit yourself. Getting on towards dinner, you're welcome to share it, such as it is. Thank you. I brought you a little present. Here, wait a second. Let me get it. Uh, I thought I thought I'd bring it as long as I was coming. It's not much. Well, come on, it's not going to bite you. Well, come on, take it. It's for you. Yeah, wait a second. It's not much, just, just a rag doll. Don't worry, I'm not gonna take it back. Oh, you, you, you go right ahead and enjoy it. So long. Well, I'll, I'll see you. Yes. 
saw. Good talking to you, little Joe. Man gets out of the habit with nobody around to listen. Why do you stay up here, Sam? It's best. Well, maybe it's best for you, but what about Annie? Must be something terrible wrong with a man. To father a child like her. Killed her ma, bringing her into the world. I reckon it ain't too much punishment for me to raise her. It was just an accident the way she was born. It's not your fault. No more! I won't hear no more about her. Not from you. Not nobody. Okay, Sam. I'll help you move the rest of those sheep before I start out for Placerville. A couple dozen sheep could be so ornery. Almost as bad as people. You know, that's funny. Yeah, you know, I've been talking to you all day, and I know you can't hear a word I'm saying. <laughs> hey, what are you looking at now? Hey, that's what I call a right pretty girl. Hey, look over here. Look at that fellow right there, that's that handsome Joe Cartwright. It's the guy that's always watching me when I'm shaving. I just can't seem to get rid of him. <laughs> All right, what are you trying to fool me with now? Got behind your back. Hey, well, that's real beautiful. Sure is pretty. I guess you don't need to know how to talk to say everything. Thanks. I, I, I wish I could make you understand. It, look. Look, I'm, I'm trying to tell you I like it. Thank you. Preacher. Albie. Hey, it's good to see you again. Thank you, Albie. You been walking in the way of the Lord? Well, I, I've been doing a lot of walking. Uh, it seems you were up here near spring the last time you came by here. Yeah, I guess it was. You dropping in on Sam, too? Well, you don't think I'd be swapping tails and telling news of that Annie? She's a child of God's son, for all the way he made her. Well, that, that's a fact, Preacher. How about you? About time you married and raised a family, isn't it? Plenty of unmarried girls in town. Town girl once said I had the smell of a trapper on me. It's like meat that's not cured right. You'll find the right girl soon enough. Come on now. The word of the law will calm your mind and your soul. For thou writest bitter things against me, and wilt consume me for the sins of my youth. Amen. I'm paying for my sins, preacher. Paying. You, Sam? That why you always getting them children fever? Every man is tempted by the devil, Albie.
No, Albie. Hearing the word of God is man's only salvation. True, preacher, true. If I could only read the Lord's word, I could bear up under his suffering. Uh, even if you could read, Sam, who would you read it to? Getting cramped sitting all this time. Think I'll go out for a while. Man born of woman living a short life is filled with many miseries. Who will make him clean that is conceived of unclean seed? It's better, have you? Huh? No matter what you are, you sure are pretty. Look, you must get lonesome, too. Look, I'm trying, just trying to be nice to you, that's all. Come on. Come on. I've been trapping for over a week. Man likes a woman to be waiting when he gets back. Come on. Come on. What are you, some sort of stick of wood or something? Come on. You can't hear, you can't talk. Haven't you got any feelings? Man, yeah, that's not so bad now, is it, huh? Allie? Where are you? You in there in that shed? Come on, preacher! I'm not finished with you yet. I'll be back. What are you doing in that shed, uh, Albie? Well, I'm just helping Sam catch up with his chores, preacher. Oh, well, that's good of you, Albie. Sam's got a lot of fever. Be a good idea if you stop around whenever you can. Don't worry, preacher. I'm going to be around a lot more now. Good. Here, girl. You should be out with the sheep. What are you hiding? Out with it, girl. I warned you. Never touch me money pouch. Corrupted by a present. Done an evil thing. You must be punished. At least if you can't hear, I know you can feel. I take no joy in hurting you. I'm your father. It's my duty to teach you right and wrong as best I can. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not steal! Don't look at me with them sad eyes. I can't stand to see suffering written on your face and not a word coming from your tongue, not even sobbing. 
put it back. So you'll remember, never do it again. Come on! All right, it's really for you anyway, huh? What do you see what it is? See, I got to talking to this doctor in, in Placerville, and I told him all about you, and he gave me this. Here, here, take it. Hey, Sam! Sam! It's a, it's a book of sign language, and, and you, you can learn to talk once you, once you understand these signs. It's not hard either, because I learned a whole bunch of them on the way out here. I assure you, you don't even know what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on. Now listen. You can learn to talk and to hear, just like other people, only with these. With your hands. Well, let me see how I'm going to do this. First page. Now, now, look. A flower. See the picture? A flower, just like the picture. A flower. You see? Flower. This is the sign. Flower. Now you do it. All right, watch me once more. Flower. Just like you're smelling a real nice flower. What's the matter? <laughs> Look, there's, there's nothing in my hand. I'm not trying to fool you. Forget that. We gotta go to another. Girl. You. Girl. Girl. Cause your cheeks real, real nice and soft. Give me your hand. Just like that. Girl. Wow. Boy. Boy. Just, just like tipping my hat, a boy. I could tip, tip my hat. You don't understand, do you? It's gonna be a lot tougher than I thought. Please, I can't make it any plainer. I don't know why you can't understand it. That's it. That's it. What's this for? Oh, Annie. Look, this isn't some kind of a game. I'm doing my best to teach you the sign language. Look, I want you to be able to talk and to understand people when they talk to you. Can't you see that? Well, I guess you never will. Couldn't hear that. Why, of course. Of course, you feel it. Here. Here, you feel that? That's what talking is. Feel it. 
here. Feel it. Feel the ground. Look, you can talk like that. Look. See that? I'm talking to you with my hands. That's it. That's it. You understand. You do understand. This girl. Boy. Boy, tipping your hat. A beautiful flower. person who can talk or hear that can ever understand the way you feel. I'm so happy. It's raining. trying to tell me that there's any hope when I've lived my whole life with the weight of a pressing on me heart like a stone. Now, will you watch, Sam? You see for yourself. Now, you are going to talk to your father. Understand? Boy. Girl. Flower. Book. That ain't talking. That's just like Indian sign. That's right. That's right, only better. You're a fool, little Joe. She's just waving her arms around. How do you know she understands what she's doing? See for yourself she understands. All right. You know what them signs mean, do you? You, girl. He, boy. What am I? What am I? What am I? What am I? I'm scared her, Sam. I tell you she does understand. No. No. No! She's not an animal, Sam. Help her. Bring her to town if you don't believe me. Let the doctor see her. No doctor can give that poor girl what she was robbed of at birth. She'll never change. She can learn to understand, but not if you don't help her, not if you don't give her a chance. Sam. Look at her. She's talking to you with her hands. She's telling you she went out into the rain and got the book. Now do you believe me? She's not one of your sheep, Sam. She's your daughter.
wait here. I'll see if the doc's in. who lives up in the mountains? Yeah, Sam Croft. He only comes down about twice a year. You know, I, I thought he lived by himself. He, he's been holding out on us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, Sam Croft. Now, where'd you get a pretty little thing like her, huh? You been holding out on us, Sam? Uh, what do you want, Tom? Well, you went out and got yourself a little company, huh? She's, she's my daughter. Who are you trying to fool? Leave us alone. Has old Sam been treating you right? Hmm? Well, what do you say? I'm talking to you. She... She don't talk much to strangers. Well, now, how come? Is she too good for fellows like us? Huh? Yeah, let me get a good look at her. No, no, don't. Give, give me that. <laughs> you want it, Sam? Well, you got to come and take it. Oh, no, no, please. Leave us alone. We ain't doing you no harm. Now, Sam, if the girl wants a bonnet, let her ask for it. Real pretty like, huh? Now, I bet I can make you talk to us. Now, leave her alone. <laughs> leave her alone. Oh, oh man. Where are you going? Oh, no, no, no. Leave her alone. <laughs> that old mountain goat, Sam Croft. Get out of here. Come on, Pappy. <laughs> he ain't worth shooting. Oh, we're just having a little fun. You both all right? We ain't hurt. Good. Come on, Sam. The doctor's in. No, we ain't going to no doctor. We shouldn't have come here in the first place. Shouldn't have listened to you. What's the matter? What are you talking about? We belong in the mountains. Me and the girl both. We ain't fit for no town. And the town ain't fit for us. Sam, for once, think of what's right for Anne. That's who I'm thinking of. Now get out of my way. <laughs> Son. You know, you've been spending much more time up at the Crofts these past few months than here. Why, I just wouldn't believe it. Why, well, Anne's learned so much already. We can carry on a regular conversation. Uh, how's Sam Croft? Still as stubborn about it as ever? That man's impossible. He told me he'd never let us see the doctor, not ever. I sure hope I can get him to change his mind. Joe. You don't think you're, uh, over your head? Uh, what do you mean? Well, sometimes it's best not to, you know, push people too hard. Leave well enough alone. Now, why should I leave him alone? He's not going to help her. Somebody has to. No, no. Sometimes helping looks like meddling. Don't worry, Pa. I know the difference. Joe, take care of yourself up there. Sure, I will, Pa. Sam! Uh, 
Sam, you in there? For lonely out in the traps. What's that, a new kind of game? Huh? You want me to play a little game with you? Huh? Gotcha. Old Albie's missed you a lot, but he's gonna make it all up to you. Sam, there's no need to bring a gun up on me. Get away from her. And keep away. I don't see you running Joe Cartwright off of here, or maybe you think he's a better man than I. Joe Cartwright's teaching her to talk. I'll bet you he's teaching her to talk. Move, or I'll blow your head off. All right. All right, Sam. Just remember, with all that money and all them girls in town, Joe Cartwright ain't interested in marrying anyone like Annie. Last one for today. This is gonna be a tough one. Love. Love. Your father helps you. Your father gives you food. You live in your father's house. You love your father. Your father loves you. Uh, you see, I could say, uh, you love flowers. And you'd know that it was good. I teach you to talk, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. You, that's wrong. See, you don't love me. Now, that is wrong. You don't love me. Now look, you don't love me. You don't love me and I don't love you. Please look at
All, all of a sudden, for no reason, she, she tried to kiss me. She tried to kiss you? Well, she did kiss me, as a matter of fact. I guess she got upset and she ran away. I should have been watching you all along. You should have been watching me. You should have been watching me. You should have been helping me teach her and instead of being so stubborn. Teaching her what? Kissing? All kinds of sin? You keep away from her. All right, Sam. All right, I'll keep away from her. You're her father. You tried teaching her for a change. Goodbye, little Joe Cartwright. Anne! Anne! Hello, Sam. I'm looking for Anne. I told you I didn't like a gun thrown on me. How's it feel? Where's Ann? Have you got a... No, I ain't got a... But I will have after you meet with an accident. You see, Sam, I'm going to be a hero. I'm going to take care of Annie after you die in an accident. just walked out. Well, what was I supposed to do? She completely misunderstood. Oh, and then her father. I go in and I try to explain it to him and he starts, like, starts accusing me of all kinds of things. It's really funny he doesn't try to help her himself. If you insisted on starting this, you can't walk out before you finish it. I understand that. I'm not a little kid. Aren't you? If you understand it and still walk out, then you're just a little kid. Now, wait a minute. Don't you raise your voice to me, boy. And don't you call me a little kid. Joe, you opened a door to the world for this girl. You let her look out for the first time. Her gratitude for you must be overwhelming, to say the least. All right, fine. Fine, all I was trying to do was help her. You can't shove someone into the water and then not wait around to see if they can swim. She has a father. No, you started it. You were the one who tampered with those two lives and you can't abandon them now. Well, what do you want me to do, marry her? Help me, Pa. I don't know what to do. Go back. No, I can't. I can't go back there and hurt her anymore. You must make her understand that what she feels for you is gratitude, not love. Oh, she'll be hurt a little bit, but she'll get over it. If you don't go back, she'll remain hurt forever. I think I'll go for a ride.
you'd be back sooner or later. You still playing games with me? I'm going to teach you more than Joe Cartwright ever did. You worried about your pa? Your pa ain't coming back. You're going to stay with me. All right, now, look, now. Just take it easy. You be nice to Albie, and Albie's going to be nice to you. I'll even buy you a new dress. <laughs> happened your father hurt needs help where he fell stay out of this card right you do this to her Albie? what's she trying to tell you what happened to sam what are you talking about annie says sam's been hurt now don't fool with me you know she can't talk. You can't she, Albie? What did the doctor say? Well, he said he'd be all right, but he'll need a lot of care. Did you, uh, have you spoken to her yet about... Yeah. Good. You better tell her her father will be all right. Yeah, right. Your 
father. Be all right. Doctor says your father will be all right. What what she say? She said she'd help you and take care of you. She says she loves you very much. Joe. Yeah. What's the sign for daughter? It's easy.